Now this is a female electric blue. And if you look underneath it, it's got a very swollen gullet. You can see the front of its mouth is really swollen. And, and that's because it's got a mouth full of eggs or possibly babies. So you can see the beautiful bright blue male in the background. And the beautiful blue male would fertilize the eggs inside the mouth of the female. And then, do you think they're actually hatched already? Possibly. So um, what some people choose to do is milk the female. So the most natural and best way to breed is to put the female into another aquarium which has got a lot of breeding weed in it so the, females can, so the female can release the babies into the breeding weed without any stress. If you don't mind stressing the crap out of your fish then, um, mouth, then uh, milking them is an option. Um, that way you can ensure that you get all of the fry out. So we're just going to give you a little demonstration here. Um, no, do it in here, down here. So if you get the fish out, then you turn the fish upside down. As you can see, it's all pretty traumatic for the poor fish. You turn the fish upside down. And then you'll see the babies fall out. See the babies all coming out now? And then you sort of gently wash through the gullet of the female. Try and make sure that you get them all out. And then at that point you can separate the female from the babies. And sure enough you have just milked the female. So you want to remove the female from the babies now. Otherwise she'll either just take them back up in her mouth or she will um, actually eat them. So as you can hear, I rather um, use the breeding weed technique. But if you want to have every single last baby survive, then um, this is a safer way for the babies. Anyway, put a little comment down the bottom. Tell us about your experience milking. Tell us about your successes. Tell us about, tell, tell us about your failures.